Hey guys, Final Master Link here. Hopefully, doing good on uh, on Twitch's end. I finally got my uh, Blue Yeti mic here. Got the snowball because it was the cheapest, basically. So yeah, um, I just plugged it in about five minutes ago. I thought maybe do a little IRL streaming for once, just to see how it works. Uh, now I think about it, I should probably bring this up on, um, on, on actually Twitch. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it was charging. Shoot, I'll probably put up some music soon. Just give me a couple minutes. I just want to see how my actual voice sounds over Twitch here. sec get rid of that get that in there all right how do I sound I can already hear some background noise, so that definitely sounds like I should do a little bit of tinkering. Um, I don't know how you actually would do that. I guess you'd go into settings. Or go to the sound mixer, rather. Sound settings. Okay, input. Device properties. Additional device properties. Let's see now. Levels, advanced. I mean, I'm not quite sure what to put on, on here for the settings. I I could look into that later. I just I hear I I hear I hear a fair amount of um, static. Maybe that's just on OBS's end though. I don't know. I mean, I literally just plugged this thing in, so we'll uh, we'll see. Space off to the side, off to the right, uh, that's where the chat is going for now. Just so you guys know, if you have a question or a comment, it'll show up on the right. Uh, and also, I have a uh, Miller Lite here to enjoy. So let's, uh, let's do this shit. Hope to get this whole can done in, I don't know, an hour. How long has it been? Like three minutes? Yeah. Kind of made, decided to make this a Q&A, although, I mean, I don't really expect many people to show up, especially, uh, what is this, like 9 o'clock on a Sunday, yeah, or 8 o'clock. I actually thought about showing some of my NES games off, just for grins, you know, to kill some time, I don't know. It's whatever. Uh... Actually, you know what? Let me try to just Google how to configure this. Because if I can make it better, you know, through the stream, that'll definitely help. Uh, okay, Snowball. Get rid of white noise. Through his deaf back one eyes, you need to set your microphone by choosing between the cardioid or omni option, then place a sound filter between the microphone and you. If so, that picks up background noise after that. You will have to use noise canceling plugins and software. Okay. I don't even know this had different modes, to be honest. I just kind of looked at it. Um. What? <laughs> what what switch goes to a different note mode? I I don't even know. Like there's really not that much to it. Like is there some sort of button or what? I 
I don't know. Fucking goofy. Let me let me just go to the website here. Maybe it'll have some pictures. Uh <sighs> So, blah, 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 blah. Here are the three settings you can use with a snowball microphone. Okay, how do I change it though? Um, I don't know, I might have to get a plug-in for this or something. Okay, it says to use filters. Can I use filters on my audio? Let me, uh, let me see about that, I guess. See, this would be... Audio input capture, yes. Filters. Oh, let's go to properties. Oh, that's the output capture. I want input capture. Where is it? I think I meant to go here, didn't I? Yeah, filters. Edit filters. Uh, let's see. Noise suppression. Yep. Add that. I don't know how much I want to use it for. Good quality, more CPU usage. Sure, let's let's do that RNA, RNA, RN noise. I guess it's called. Let's do that. Let's see if it makes a difference then. Oh, that was just on OBS, the software. Hopefully, it hopefully it works. Okay, it's and it says the filters on there too. All right. Let's see if it helped any. Let's see if it makes a difference then. Oh, that was just on OBS, the software. Hopefully it hopefully it works. Okay, it's and it says the filters on there too. Alright. It seemed to work somewhat. Like I could still hear the background noise, but it didn't seem as apparent, so that's that's good to know. Um I guess let's just uh you know keep drinking and doing whatever, you know, fuck it. Yeah, let's put on let's put on a little bit of music. See if it is okay with a little bit of music playing. Uh, just look up. Uh... I like using this a lot when I'm IRL streaming. Oh hell yeah, we got Chrono Trigger guys. Dun, dun. That's probably too loud, honestly. Let me turn that down. Because if it's too loud, it, it's, you know, it's not really going to be picked up anyway, so. I'll have to see when it's too loud, though. Hold on. Uh, it's it's probably acceptable right now. Uh, maybe just turn up a smidge more. I mean, I don't know. I I could turn it up whenever someone's entering the chat or whatever and they say something about it. You know, I'm gonna request a song, fuck it. 
Let's request uh Oh, they got Adventures in the Magic Kingdom? That's interesting. How about, um... How about something from... Got the Ark the Lad, Arcana... Assassin's Creed. How about, how, how about Assassin, Assassin's Creed? Request City of Jerusalem, why not? Fuck it. It might take a while, though. It might take a while. I don't know, it seems like some of these lo songs are louder than others, so it's like shit, dude. Like, what can you do? But, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna start showing some of my NES shit now, so. Um. Probably start would be the shelf on my left here. Now, on my shelf to my left is not all of my NES games, but it's most of them. Yeah, I want to say I have maybe, uh, I don't know, 20 or 30 NES games. Not really a whole lot compared to some, like, huge collectors out there, but, you know, I only, I only get what's affordable and that I actually enjoy, so... What the hell song is this? Oh, that's, that's the song I just requested. There must have been a slow list tonight. Or, uh... Very little pending requests. Yeah, City of Jerusalem. Been a while since I played the first Assassin's Creed game, actually. But anyway, let's let's get into the NES games, because you know I'm just bored, just sitting here. Um, I'm not quite sure where I got this, but this is Mario Bros. Three. With a, uh, as you can see, there's a section of the cartridge missing there, and some of the plastic case. I'm pretty sure the game still runs fine though, just as long as it's clean, you know. NES don't know any different. But yeah, Mario 3. I got like four copies of this game or some shit. It's crazy. It's fucking everywhere. Uh, of course, you know, I'd have to have uh, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. It's, you know, it's a decent game. I don't really care for Duck Hunt at all, uh, to be honest. But Super Mario Bros., it's a good game. sure that that light is plugged in i actually have a backlight on i'll show you like you you can tell the difference when i do that see so uh what the hell is this apparently this is this actually this game has a sticker on it from a video store yeah i got deadly towers here i think i got it for only like five bucks i've heard it's not a very good game Especially from what, like, you know, people, reviewers like the nerds say about it. They say it's shit. Um, they apparently, this was from Jeanette, PA. I, th I think that's Pennsylvania, isn't it? Yeah, it's a far, far away from here. I assume someone turned it in at this, at this one GameStop or whatever. This, uh, retro store in my, in my town. They turned it in and they, maybe they originally came from Pennsylvania. 
and they just happen to have this game when they turn it in with the sticker still on it. So yeah, Deadly Towers. I'm not even sure why I bought that game. Just probably just because it was cheap and I felt like collecting it. I don't know. Um, I got Bubble Bobble, which is a good game. I enjoy it. It's just I don't know. Like I'd much rather play Bubble Bobble Part Two, but I'm not buying the cartridge for that because it's hella expensive. So yeah. Moving on from that. Uh, you guys might have remembered I tried to play this game, um, I don't know, two, three months ago on the NES Classic. We got Ninja Gaiden. Uh, funny thing is, like, you see that sticker right there where it says $9.99? I think you see it, don't you? I swear I need to get a better camera sometimes. There you go, $9.99. Well, this is actually $2 more than what it came up as, like, when I was checking out. At the register, so I got it for eight dollars instead of ten. Woo, pretty sweet. I like the game, but it does get a bit too ridiculous past like stage four, pretty much. Uh, this one I, I've been kind of meaning to play because I heard it's actually kind of an underrated gem. I've got a uh, Iron Sword Wizards and Warriors too. Um. Yeah, it's, I think it's technically an action RPG, action platforming. I'm not entirely sure what the genre of it is. But I got it for $4. You can tell uh, a lot of NES games are going to have this kind of sticker on it. Because I, I, I get a bunch of this stuff from Mega Replay nowadays whenever I go there. So, and I just leave the sticker on. It don't matter. I forgot to put, yeah, I got a cartridge sleeve too. I don't know why, but some of these have Nintendo's name on them, and some of them don't. I don't know if they're, like, different companies that that made these dust protectors back in the day, or what. Because, like, the NES was definitely before my time. Uh, I've kind of heard this is a good game, but I've never actually played it myself. I got Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, which is, uh... It's kind of an interesting game, you know, play a Disney game where you go around a bunch of attractions at, you know, Disneyland or whatever. So, or Disney World. It's, it's supposed to be one of those two. I paid about $7 for this. A lot of these games, I don't even think they've really changed in price because no one really cares about them. Okay, yeah, there's that one. This one, I actually think people give a lot of shit that it's not deserved. But I've got High Glide. There's actually a Super High Glide release. I don't know if many people actually know that. But uh, the original High Glide on the NES. I feel like it gets too much shit, honestly. I don't really think it's that bad, as people say it. Um, you know? I'll probably, I'll probably actually stream this at one point. Like, you can actually beat this game in like an hour and a half. If you know what you're doing. Um... Yeah, this one actually does have the Nintendo dust cover. I guess, uh, I guess it's more legit then, huh? Uh, before I continue, let me, let me refresh another song. Apparently there's a Skies Arcadia going on right now, that's pretty dope. Now let's request, uh, about a Chrono Cross song. How about, um... Do they have How about how about Lost Fragments? Let's do that one. Let's request that bitch. Alright, next game. Uh got another Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and another sleeve. Apparently it's a Nintendo sleeve, but it has like it has tape on it. I don't really, I don't really get that at all. I don't get that. Why would you put tape on? Why would you put tape on these things? I do not know. Okay, next. I actually kind of like this game um, because I'm a fan of the TV show as well. I've got Jeopardy. Yeah, I think I also have a S Jeopardy on the Game Boy Color as well, or uh, the 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 Super Nintendo. Yeah, I got Jeopardy. Um, pretty, pretty cheap game. Although one thing you gotta keep in mind is, you know, since this came out in, uh, I don't know, 88, 87, like, certain questions aren't gonna make a whole lot of sense on there if you understand, like, the time period where this came out. 
you know, like when this game first came out, the Berlin Wall was still up, you know what I mean? So you're not going to have a question like that, you know. Kind of interesting to think in hindsight. But yeah, Jeopardy. It's a decent game. I like it. Not really many t <laughs> not really many people are willing to play Jeopardy against me on an old, you know, machine like that though, but who knows. I'm pretty sure this is Chrono Trigger music playing in it. Yeah, Delightful, Specchio. Yeah, that's right. That guy that you fight throughout the game, yeah. And I haven't played Chrono Trigger in a hell of a long time. Uh, I got Star Tropics. Again, another game I tried to play a bit on the um, the NES Mini not too, too long ago. Um, I do like the game. I've heard that Star Tropics 2 isn't, isn't all that great compared to this game, but maybe I'll buy it one day. I think it's called Star Tropics 2 Zoda's Revenge or something like that. I, don't, I, I have no idea why, because this was actually made by Nintendo. See right there? It's all Nintendo, guys. All Nintendo. They made it. Or at the least it was published. Maybe it was made by somebody else. Um, yeah, it, it's a series that will probably never come around again. I would like a remake of this, though. At least the first one. Like, I think it'd be a, a nice little budget title on the Switch or something. You know, kind of like what they do with the Act Razor, which I'm still surprised that even came out. That Act Razor remake. I mean, that looks fucking hella good. I'll buy it at some point. Count on that. Um, oh, this one I got on eBay. I got Little Nemo the Dream Master. A pretty good game, actually. I've never beat it, but, uh, I've, I've gotten hella close. Um, like, I think I made it to, like, the last stage. But it, like, even though it, it's kind of an easier game, sort of, you know, like, Kirby or, you know, Mario. Like, this isn't nearly as hard as stuff like, you know, like, Battletoads or, or, uh, you know, you know, Silver Surf or anything crazy. But yeah, probably probably play Little Nemo at some point on stream because I do like the game. And I think it still goes for a reasonable price. Like I think it's like in the teens still. I think I bought that. I think I bought that copy for like eleven dollars. Uh, th this game's okay. I mean, it was kind of a budget title too, or uh, uh it was a. Uh... I don't know why I'm hiccuping all of a sudden. Um, it was a launch title, if I remember right, not a budget title. But I got Excite Bike. I like it. I like it, you know. Not really much to say about it, though. There, I think there's only, like, four levels in the game, you know. I mean, I do like the concept of you making your own stages, but... I don't know. Maybe it's only because you're, you're kind of limited on what kind of stage you can make in the game. Let's keep going here definitely gonna play this at some point on stream um and i even have the sequel to this somewhere i've got teenage mutant ninja turtles uh the original also you can see on the fucking cartridge uh, all the turtles have red headbands i don't know who the fuck thought that was a good idea they know anything about the show or the or the uh comic but yeah this was actually made by konami uh, of all things like you see that ultra Ultra Games, that's actually Konami. You see, back in the day, uh, Nintendo had strict res strict restrictions on uh, how many games a comp one company can make each year. So what clever guys like Konami would do, and like Hudson and stuff, is they would make shell companies so that they could release more games for the system in the same year. So kind of a nice little loophole. So yeah, this was made by Konami. I actually think it's a good game. Uh, like it has it has some problems with it and. I guess it has a problem because... Hear that rattling? Something's rattling in there. I think the game still works, though. It's just, I don't know. Maybe a couple grains of sand in there. Or maybe somebody put in a raisin like 20 years ago and never took it out. Who knows? I never opened it. Oh, this isn't a game per se. Like, this had a, this had like, like a plastic thing. This is actually the... Uh, this is actually to clean your Nintendo system. There was like a plastic sort of attachment to this. Like it, I guess it fell off or something. It it don't matter. Like you could, you know, you could just attach anything to this and just, you know, use it like a handle pretty much and take it out. I don't know how effectively this actually cleans your Nintendo, so it's just kind of a whatever thing to have. So, like, ooh, ooh. So yeah. I just put it where my other NES stuff is. So. 
oh how can i how can i not go uh not talk about this game even though it kind of got up in there in price I, I bought it for what i thought was about what it was worth um i got the first contra which this game kicks fucking ass like i i, I pretty much love it um yeah I, this this isn't what i would call a cheap nes game though you say that was 25 dollars the highest this was ever was like 44 or some shit like it was just it was ridiculous but yeah contra it's pretty dope pretty dope Alright. Uh, you know, it's funny. I have, like, multiple copies of 1 and 3, but I only have one copy of this game. And that's Super Mario Bros. 2. Game I've never actually beaten myself. Um, I've gotten... I've gotten fairly far. Let's see, there's, a, there's actually a sticker on the back there. A green sticker. I can't really read what it says. I don't know if it's supposed to be a price or what. I don't know. Weird. But yeah, Super Mario Bros. 2. I like it. You know, people bitch that it's not really a Mario game, but what even is at this point, you know? Alright, uh... I think I played this a little bit, I and I believe this was actually compatible with the, uh... The, the Power Glove or whatever. Got Rad Racer here. If I remember right, um... Uh, that one kid actually played this in the wizard like the kid who owned the power glove in the film he played rad racer with it um you know whatever <laughs> i don't really care for racing games so i think i bought that with my nintendo when i first got it so that's why i have the game all right what else we got I guess I could show you that game. Got a, I think I have maybe two li unlicensed games, but I have uh, Tengen RBI Baseball here. You can tell it's not legit because of uh, you know the black cartridge and all that shit. So yeah. Yeah, it sure looks weird, doesn't it? I kind of wish I had a... I kind of wish I had um, Tengen Tetris, because I heard that was actually a good game. But, yeah, the only Tengen game I think I have is RBI Baseball. I might have one more. I'll have to check. Uh, okay, really I should sell this game, because I, apparently it's apparently it's kind of worth the damn. Uh, I've, got, I've got Tecmo Super Bowl here. It's... I mean, it's a football game. It's supposed to be a pretty good football game for the time, but I just, I don't really care for sports at all, so it's just kind of whatever to me. I should really sell it, because I, I don't think I'll really play it ever. But yeah, I think I have another Tecmo Bowl too. I'll have to rethink about that. Um, okay, I got, a, got an LGA game here. Uh, I got a baseball game. MLB, yeah, Major League Baseball by LJN. That's cool. America's favorite pastime brought to life with all the excitement of a real game. Yeah, I'm sure. Totally believe the LJN. Yeah, totally believe you guys. Put that back on the shelf. Uh, I think we're getting through most of them actually here. I mean, I, I think there's a. I think there's a couple of games in that, in that, uh, you know, gray band right there that I'm pointing to with my thumb. I think there's a couple of Nintendo games in there, too. But we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, so, yeah, this... I don't remember when I got this. I think I just bought this on a whim at my, at my game store in my town. I got Mystery Quest... I just thought it seemed interesting. I don't remember a whole lot about it. I only played it for about 20 minutes. Like, it didn't seem horrible, but it didn't seem... It didn't seem like the best thing since sliced bread either, so... Yeah, Mystery Quest. Like, I think I... I, I think I looked up, like, how to get through, like, the first level, because... Like, it's it's called Mystery Quest because you don't have a fucking clue what's going on. It's like a mystery you gotta solve. Like, you're fucking Scooby-Doo in the gang, you know? Let's split up, gang! Yeah. It's fucking nonsense. Uh, the label's pretty torn off, but obviously this is Tetris. I mean, what else would it be, you know? Apparently I paid $3 for this. That's... 
I don't know, this seems a little bit high for Tetris. I mean, this was a common game. I mean, this isn't the Tengen version either, which I know is worth more, and people debate it's actually the superior version of, of uh, Tetris on the NES. But no, this is like the official shit. Yeah, it says right there, from Russia with from Russia with fun, yeah, Nintendo. We know all about how you got that fucking Tetris game. Fucking assholes. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on a sec. God damn it. There's a cartridge stuck in my shelf now. Can I not push these forward? Hold on a sec. I mean, I didn't think I could I could push these 2D, but apparently I can. That's cool. Huh. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. So I remember some time ago, I actually had, um, uh, I actually went to a yard sale, and this lady had a bunch of these, um, plastic sword Nintendo cases. Now, to my knowledge, back in the day, uh, when you went to a rental store in the 80s and 90s, they had, uh, these kind of things that you could rent Nintendo games out of, and I, I just thought they were kind of neat, you know, thought they were kind of neat, so I bought a bunch. Uh, I didn't buy all of them. I, I, I didn't feel like I needed, you know, like, 30 of these things. I think these are actually somewhat worth something to somebody, but I... It's just, like, I don't I don't care. Yeah, Mario Bros. 3. You could already see it through the case, but there you go. Get that bitch in there. I'm going through these NES games kind of quick. I might actually go over my Super, Super Nintendo ones here soon. I think I'm going to request another song first. Let's... Doing their song here. Super Mario Galaxy 2 slide. Let's request, uh... I don't know, do they have a Kirby music on here at all? Kirby Air Ride, Kirby's Adventure. Um... Let's do the uh, green fields for Kirby here. Let's do that. That'll be fine. Anyways, we mean to play this on stream for a while. I mean, I pretty much have to get to it if I'm doing um eight and soon to be nine. But yeah, the original Final Fantasy. I might actually be playing this on like the Dawn of Souls, like the Game Boy Advance port or or something like that. Um, yeah, OG Final Fantasy. I remember buying this game for a quarter, believe it or not, at a yard sale. I thought that was great. Because I know this is worth at least, like, 20, to my knowledge. Is that not, is that not closing? Sometimes it, it's weird how these cartridges can even fit in here. Hold on. Okay, there. Yeah, OG Final Fantasy. I remember making it through there halfway before I quit because it it just it gets boring. Alright. I think I bought this at a yard sale in my hometown or a town pretty close to it. I got Solstice. Um Solstice the the quest for the staff of demons. Cool. Um I don't quite remember what it what it played like. I think it was like sort of a sort of an action kind of maze game. Like it's hard kinda hard to describe it. Yeah, Solstice. Also that that's that's that kick ass 
Kirby music playing right now. Love to hear that shit. Yeah, so this is uh, another LJN game. Oh, God. Uh... Yeah, Spider-Man, um, Return of the Sinister Six. For some reason, this, um, is completely, like, torn off, the label. So I had to, uh, you know, look at the, the side here to see what the name of the game was. It's, it's not all that great. I mean, granted, this is probably one of the first Spider-Man games ever released. It's not really saying much, though. I mean, hell, look at, look at, uh, look at the Spider-Man now, that fucking, um, uh... Insomniac developed it. You know, it, it totally melts faces, so... We don't have to play this bullshit anymore. Although, there were some good Spider-Man games. I remember, like, on the PS1 and, um... And the PS2. I got, uh... I got a couple of duplicates already, actually. I, I didn't know I had two copies of this, but... Another copy of... You can probably just see through the plastic. Another copy of TMNT 2... Or TMNT 1. So there's that. And then I have another copy of Star Tropics, so that's cool. Uh, and of course, I'm actually quite glad I, I got this when I did. I got this for pretty cheap. And you know me as a, as a Zelda fanatic. I've got a... Uh, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, the gold cartridge. It's, it's in fairly good shape, you know? Like, I know these gold cartridges, they tend to, like, lose their gold color over time, and then they kind of turn black. I mean, you could tell it in some spots, but, you know, for it being a... Uh, see, how, how old's the series in? 30, 32 years old or some shit? You know, I'd say it looks pretty... I'd say it looks pretty solid. But yeah, it's pretty sick having a gold cartridge of anything, so. I actually do like the game. I, I, I would even say I, I might actually like this a little bit more than the first Zelda, honestly. Alright, next we got, uh, I'll pop it out just so you can just see the whole label here. I've got Dragon Warrior, the first one. It's a... Uh, uh, I guess I would say it's a decent game for what you pay, because this is, like, always going to be less than, like, $10. Um, to my knowledge, I think part of the reason why it's so cheap is, um, it's kind of a fairly simple RPG, to be honest. But the other thing is, uh, if I remember right, back in the day, Nintendo Power, if you signed up for an issue of Nintendo Power, like, the first issue, you, ac you actually were mailed a copy of this game with it, so that's kind of... It's kind of different, but yeah, it's a, it's a way to market, I suppose. I feel like my mic should be maybe a little bit higher. Let me adjust this slightly. Maybe that'll help a bit. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to... Am I supposed to, like, target this more to my face, or... Ah, whatever. This is why we're doing a test stream, you know. Uh, okay, so that's all for, like, kind of the loose games. I mean, well, there is this, this one thing here. This is kind of cool, actually. So there was this pawn shop in my town some years back. Um, and one time I was in there and I was asking about old games and stuff. Because they did have, like, gaming stuff. But it was all stuff that was, like, you know, just five years older or less. But I asked about old stuff and they actually had, uh, this kind of drawer. That says Nintendo's logo on it right there. You probably can't see because of the glare, but it says Nintendo. This is like a, some kind of a like a snakeskin leather, like, you know, drawer or whatever. Case. And this is kind of cool, what I found. Oh, did I just get a message on Discord? Hold on. I thought I got a message on Discord for a sec. I thought I heard a Discord message go off, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, this thing is always fucking gimmicky. Hold on. There we go. They got a bunch of games in there. 
I'll just kind of go over real quick and then put it back, you know. In the Super Mario Bros. 3, you, you're pretty much a loser if you don't have this game on the NES. I'm just letting you know. Um, I've got Jackal. I don't remember if I've actually played this game or not. I don't remember. But I think... I think I've heard this game is fun, though. I didn't this doesn't doesn't this have like a co-op experience to it too, Jackal? I want to say this almost had maybe this had an AV AVGN episode or something. I just don't remember. Or maybe it, it might have been. I, I think I might have seen an episode about the Konami Code and it mentioned Jackal. Like when you do the Konami Code, it like gives you extra life or something like that. I don't know. We yeah, had Jackal. Get in there, bitch. MarBros.com got another one. Uh, this one I bought separately. It didn't like come with the games that I bought with this with this collection. Mylon Secret Castle. Um, I've only played it for a little bit. Like it, it's okay. It's just you know it's just like the Avengers episode. It's it's too fucking cryptic for its own good. Um, you know if you, if you would actually have a guide and just follow it and not you know, give a rat's ass about trying to figure anything out yourself. I'd say it's probably a decent game. I just haven't given it, I haven't given it the time of day yet, so. Uh, I don't even think I remember this game. The, you got the Untouchables here. Um, it's made by Ocean of all plate, of all things, yeah. To my, know, to my knowledge, Ocean is the guys who made Waterworld for the, uh, for the Virtual Boy, which I heard sucks ass. At least according to the ABGN episode from years ago. Uh, yeah, The Untouchables. I think this is actually kind of like a rail shooter game or some shit like that. Also, I think it's hilarious. They actually have a Paramount's, uh, little logo on there. You know, little mountaintop. It's kind of funny. Um. I... I'm not actually sure where this game came from, but I have Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and World Class Trackmate, all a three-in-one cartridge. I didn't even know that existed. I guess I totally forgot this thing, you know, was uh, was around, but yeah. Yeah, got a three-in-one cartridge, woo. Now this one I don't really care to play because I heard it's not that good. Um, I've got Fester's Quest. Uh... Maybe it actually is a decent game, but I haven't really given it a chance just because of all the shit I've heard about it. So yeah, Fetch's Quest. I got NES Golf here. Um, pretty sure that's supposed to be Mario on the cover there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, Golf. It's it is what it is. I don't think I've ever played it. Like I said, not really into sports, even in video game form. Oh, this is Terraria music playing, isn't it? Like, this totally sounds like Terraria. Yeah, this is the dungeon. That's awesome, dude. Now, let me actually request a song, too. Fuck it, let's request a Terraria song. How about, um... How about the title screen? That's a good one. I was actually, I was actually playing through Terraria not too long ago, so... But yeah, we got Hudson's Adventure Island. Um, I believe they made two or three of these on the NES. And I think some are better than others. I don't know too much about this particular one. I think you play as um, that, that one dude in the corner here. I forget his name. I think it's Higgins or some shit. But yeah, Adventure Island. And we got uh, probably the worst game show I've ever seen because I I literally cannot answer a single question question on it. We got a uh, Wheel of Fortune, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Not really much to say. Based on the number one hit TV game show, I mean it was probably it was probably the tits back in the eighties, the TV show. But you know times have changed. Times have changed. So that's all for that drawer, pretty much for that case. I just put it back on this shelf to my left. That's where it, that's where it gets stored. It fits snugly here. 
There we go. Um, I know there's a couple more Nintendo things in um that thing there, so I'll open it up real quick. All right. Got a little bit more Nintendo stuff here, so. Uh, this I bought. I've been meaning to play because I heard it's fun. Uh, kind of the only reason why I bought it the way it is is because it was like, I don't know, 4 or $5 cheaper than any other listing on eBay. But I got a Fax Xanadu here. Um, yeah, I've heard it's fun. It's like a kind of an action RPG sort of deal. So, yeah, Fax Xanadu. Probably expect a stream of that at some point. Again, I don't know how I have a, another copy of this, but another Major League Baseball here. Woot. Another Super Mario Bros. 3. I'm pretty sure that's the fourth one now. Pretty sure it's the fourth. So, yeah. Of course, you know, just like I had Zelda 2, I uh, gotta have that gold Zelda 1 cartridge. Pretty snazzy. You can see a little, I mean, you might not be able to see, but there's a little black spot there, you know, like where the gold's fading from, from the cartridge. But still, it is pretty cool. I mean, I mean, look at that fucking, look at that swag, dude. Look at that swag. See that shine of that gold? It's fucking sexy. Oh, okay, so actually the rarest NES game that I have, I, I've been meaning to sell this, but it's just... You know, I feel like nothing... I feel like nobody's gonna give me something good for something this bad, even though it's, like, valuable. But I got Color of Dinosaur. Uh, this actually was in that, uh... That uh, container I showed you. It, th this is one of the games in there. Um, supposedly this game's worth, like, $100 or some shit like that. I've played it. It ain't really worth jack shit to me. So... Yeah. I guess I'm just hoping something will... You know, someone will give me an offer for it. I can't res can't refuse or something like that. I don't know. But until then, I'll just I'll just hang on to it. I guess. Uh, okay. Yeah. This is the um. This is the sequel to TMNT. We got the TMNT two, the arcade game, which is fun, but damn, it gets pretty hard. I remember me and my nephew were actually playing this like maybe a year or so ago. Was this six ninety nine? Or no, no, I bought this from somebody else. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it is, it is a decent game. You know, it's a decent little beat-em-up. It gets pretty hard, though, after, like, the third stage, though. Alright, we're almost there. I think we only got, like, four more games here. Let me, let me see. Four or six. I do have Dragon Warrior 2, FYI, but I think that's actually in my Nintendo right now, so I can't really show it to you. Okay, yeah, there's, there's four games in here. Real quick. Got a... We got Yoshi's Cookie. Ooh, Yoshi's Cookie. Um, yeah, it's it's a, it's a puzzle game. If I remember right, I think this is one of the... One of the last officially licensed games released for the NES. If it's not the last one, it's, it's pretty late there. Like, I think this came out like 94 or some shit like that when I was like one years old. Say, so, yeah, Yoshi's Cookie. I, I assume it's probably a decent game, but I could be wrong. Could be dead wrong. Um, we got Gotcha, which I believe this was supposed to be intended for the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, light gun there. I don't have the light gun. Well, I, I do have the light gun, but I don't really trust it to work on this game. Especially since it has that shit rainbow on the end there. Yeah. But yeah, I got, I got Gotcha the sport. <laughs> It's like whatever. Um, 
Okay, Dr. Mario. I actually forgot I had Dr. Mario, but yeah. I think I remember I did, I did pay $3 for this. Um, yeah, I mean, it's Dr. Mario. What, 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 you know, what more can I say? Puzzle game. And I even forgot I had some of these games. I got a Karate Champ here, never played it. Possibly never will, I don't know. Unless I'm full-blown drunk and I just don't care anymore. Okay, there's those four. And I, I already mentioned I have Dragon Warrior 2 in my NES, so... Don't need to show you that. Give me a sec here. One second. I definitely forgot I had that game. Oh, how could I forget I have that? That game is kick ass. Got some more Chrono Trigger music, guys. That's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I got Robo Warrior. I know for sure I bought this at the game store in my town because they always use like this weird kind of label for their uh for their older stuff. So yeah, Robo Warrior. It's it's okay. I, I don't think it's a horrible game. Not much to say about it. I don't I don't quite remember what it what it played like to be honest. Oh hey Bitsoul, how's it going, man? Hello, Concha. Uh, was that a mistyping, or were you trying to say hello? Because I couldn't, I couldn't quite tell. Oh, I see, you're, yeah, you mistyped your email there, I gotcha. But yeah, how you doing tonight, man? I just got, uh, my mic in, my Blue Yeti. Or, well, my, my Snowball, it's made by Blue Yeti. And I wanted to test it out, so I thought I'd do a little IRL streaming tonight, just kind of a small one and i was bored you know I, I i tried to put some music on and i was like hey i might as well show off some nes stuff so that's what i've been doing the past i don't know 40 minutes here so oh nice you're doing all right just a bit tired how am i doing i'm doing tired in the sense that i ate too much pizza so i'm feeling lethargic and i mean the fact that i'm drinking some beer Probably is going to make me feel even um, more bloated, but it is what it is, you know. Oh yeah, pizza and beer. I had a, I had a, the the shakaroni pizza from Papa John's. They actually still had it. I'm, I was surprised. I thought they ended that like weeks ago. But no, it's still going on, so I got it. Yeah, I got MarioBros.com again. Like that surprises fucking anybody that I have like three copies of that game. Okay, yeah, I have uh, another copy of Zelda 1. I don't... I think I have another gold copy of Zelda 2. I don't remember, though. I don't remember. But yeah, gold Zelda 1. And this this game, surprisingly, it's fun. Like, I wouldn't think... Because it's technically a sports game, you wouldn't think I would enjoy it, but I do. The uh, Punch-Out. Not, not the Mike Tyson one. The original. Or the, the one with, like, Mr. Dream or whatever. The one without the uh, endorsement from Mike Tyson. Um... It's a pretty good game. Like, I, I, I really like it. It gets hella hard, though, dude. It gets hella hard. Like, I, I normally can't go past, like, the um, rematch with Bald Bull. Like, that's usually that's usually where I just have to be too try-hard at the game, so. But it is fun. I like Punch-Out. You're gonna lurk for now and do your laundry and get breakfast? Oh, that's fine, man. You do you. I'm just talking. All right, so let's put these games back. Um, see, I mean, since it hasn't been an hour yet, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I still have, um, I, I think I have less Super Nintendo games to go through, but I'll, I could probably go through those real quick here, and just end it off for tonight or whatever. Let me just, uh, put these in here. But yeah, I just hope my mic sounds good for you guys. I'll probably have to configure some more. I thought I had something in my beard. Weird. Yeah, let me put this shit off to the side. 
the the rest that's in here is just like controllers and shit. I don't think anyone really needed to see that. So, oh, uh, might as well request a song. Hold on, let me go to that thing again. Someone really likes Super Mario Galaxy, apparently. Shit. I don't know. What other Mario game can we request? Um, let's see Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart Double Dash. How about how about uh Sherbert Land? Let's request that song from Double Dash. I quite like that. I quite like Double Dash actually. So. I don't think I can close that, but I'll just deal with it later. Um, yeah, let's let's take off my take off my let's take out like my Super Nintendo stuff, I guess. Also, I think I'm slouching too much. Let me. Yeah, let me get that chair up. That works a little better, doesn't it? Um. Oh shit, really the only way to get for me to get my Super Nintendo stuff is to is to take out my PS2 stuff, unfortunately. I guess I'll have to do a bit of that now. You can give me a couple minutes, guys. I should definitely do a PS2 collection stream at some point though. Oh, there's actually... Oh. Well, that's a Super Nintendo thing. I got a Super Game Boy. In case anyone gave a rat's ass. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Uh, damn, please don't fall. Probably should have taken this shit out earlier. But yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I do have more Super Nintendo games than NES, I think. But to be fair, I do love the system, so... Holy shit, I think... I think I got them all. 
I think. I hope. It's gonna be kind of a pain trying to put that back in without my whole shelf collapsing. I need to I get I need to get another shelf, people. Like it's falling apart at the seams here. Um put that there. The hell kind of song is playing right now? Hold on. Oh, that's the thing. That's the Sherbert land for Mario Kart. I gotcha. I was like, what the hell is this shit playing? I'm gonna lower my chair just a little. A little bit. Alright. Um. I guess I'll just, I'll just pull. Granted, I, like, if I had to count, how many SNES games do I have? Maybe... I'd say close to 50. If not, if not at 50. Um, a lot of these are just kind of, you know, kind of bullshitty games, but they're still games. I've got, a uh, Jack Nicholas, Nicholas Gall. Ooh. Oh my god. Jack Nicholas, Jack Nicholas, Nicholas Gall? Oh my god. Who would have thought, man? Must be a super bad ad. That thing's not even gonna move, is it? No. Uh. Oops. I guess I have to grab that game later. I'll tell you what. I'll I'll put everything horizontally as I talk about it. I guess. Oh, uh, what is this? Fuck. What? Is this from Chrono Cross? What music is this? Oh, Legend of Mana. Okay, okay. Never played that game. Yeah, we, uh... Boxing Legends of the Ring. That's that's the first game here. Or second game here. Don't know anything about it. Never played it. Super Mario All-Stars. What can I say? The game kicks ass. Get it. It's amazing. You know, this is back when Nintendo actually gave a fuck. You know, to give you, like, good deals and stuff. Unlike Mario 3D All-Stars, which is just... You know. Basically, it's basically just, like, one good port. And then one okay port. And then one totally shit jank port. Because of the input input lag that's on it. So, yeah. But back in those days, they actually cared about giving you bang for your buck. Got Animaniacs, which... it's a, It's kind of a difficult game. I still like it, though. But then again, I grew up on the cartoon when I was little, so... Animaniacs. Uh, I got Super Tennis here. Cool. Super Tennis. Uh, got Beavis and Butthead. This game sucks, by the way. Um, just don't play it. It has a co-op mode, you know, where he plays Beavis and Butthead at the same time, but... It's not that good. Like, if you have to play it, do it when you're drunk with a friend, at the least. Okay, we got Family Feud. It's a it's a decent game. It's a decent game. I'm not very good at it, but there's very few game show games that I'm actually decent at, so. But yeah. Uh, next we got... Next we got Illusion of Gaia. It's a pretty good game. I actually remember... So I bought this in my hometown from the retro store. I remember actually, um... I actually haggled for this. I think that song might be a little too loud. Let me lower that a bit. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, Illusion of Guy. I actually, uh... I think it was originally listed at like 20... Like twenty four ninety nine or something. And I think I offered 18... The thing about me haggling, like, game stores, like, like, there's kind of a couple of conditions that I, that I am comfortable with meeting before I actually try to haggle on a store about a product is, uh, you know, has the thing sat there for a while, like, has it been there for, like, over a month or some shit, um, you know, have I, have I actually spent money at the store, or am I just, like, a first-time buyer, and the third condition is, like, have I kind of became you know, personable with, with, like, the staff or the owner. Like, kind of those three conditions, I feel like once those three are met, then I, I can kind of, 
try to see uh, if if I can haggle at all, you know. Like, I, I feel like that's fair. Like, those three conditions are met. Like, uh, like I would never go into just uh, a store from, from, from day one that just opened in town and be like, hey, can I have that for, like, 15% off? I, I wouldn't do that. Not unless those three conditions are kind of met. Or at least two out of the three, you know. Um, but yeah, losing a guy. I think I got this for 18 then instead of 24.99, like I said. And they, and they took it, so. It's a good game. I liked it. We got, uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I think I actually have two copies of this. I don't remember exactly. Um, it's supposed to be a pretty good game. It's, I, granted, I haven't really played it much, but, like, while the game, oh. while the game is fun for, like, a half hour, I can never see myself actually having, like, the, having the resolve to get through the whole shit, so, you know. Uh, game I'm wanting to play at some point. I got the uh, first Star Fox. Um, it's in these like plastic protective cases. I got like ten of these because I, I well I I just wanted one, but they sold them in like packs of ten for like you know being cheaper. So I thought I'd just buy a bunch. But yeah, Star Fox. And to my knowledge, it works. It it looks almost brand new cartridge wise though. So yeah, Star Fox. Now this game melts faces. I'm actually really glad I own this. Is uh, this sort of got me into Castlevania, to be honest. Why is this? For some reason, the upper right corner is kind of sticky. I don't really get why that is. That's weird. But we we got Super Castlevania Four. This game is fucking amazing. Like it really is. And you know, and to think at some point this game was only worth like I don't know, like eight dollars or some shit. You know, like two thousand eight or so. Um, and then it shot to, like, 20, and then it's, like, 35, and then it turned, at the highest, I think it was 40. I don't know how much it is now, but I don't, since I have it, I, I don't really care what the price is. I'm not gonna let it go, you know? But yeah, Castlevania 4. Love it. Okay, of course I gotta have Zelda Link to the Past, you know? This, to me, like, is far, far better than the original Zelda. Like, like, it's, it's almost... Like, it's almost like they could have made a different series, like, when this came out, and just had it, like, as the, as a new kind of Zelda game for that system, you know? Like, that's that's how much better it is, so. Yeah, and the other thing other thing is, look how much I paid. Granted, this is back in, like, 2009, 2010, so. Ten dollars. You'll never see this for ten dollars again, people. It's always gonna be, like, thirty plus, you know? It's just, there's nothing you can do about it. Because that's how crazy these, uh, prices are for games. Uh, what what music is playing right now? What is this shit? Oh, this is from Doom. Okay. Let me uh, request another song here. Uh, maybe another Mario game. I don't know. Oh, uh, sure. How about the uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? Main theme of that? That'll do. Yeah. All right, we got it. We got to do this kind of fast. I want I want to get this in under an hour and a half. So. We got Beethoven, the original K9 Caper. Ooh. Ooh. Don't give a fuck. I remember kind of liking the movies when I was younger, but the thing is, Beethoven, it was like fucking Air Bud. You know, they made so many fucking sequels and spinoffs and shit. It's like, fuck off, Beethoven. But yeah. Uh. Now, this is, even be this is an even better deal. Nintendo would never, in a million years, ever do this again. Even if you put a gun to their, to, to their heads, they still wouldn't do it. But I got a uh, Super Mario All Stars and Super Mario World, basically like all the shit remade from you know the previous gen, and then like the um, and then you know like the new iteration of the Mario series, you know, on your brand new console, like package in one, like that was fucking ridiculous in value at the time. It's 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 insane. But yeah, I got that. Uh, I got Sim City. I don't actually remember where I got this. But yeah, I got SimCity. I I don't think I played it very much. I don't I don't really care for like city development simulation games unless it's like ActRaiser, ActRaiser, but that's that's a lot more easy to understand. But yeah, SimCity. Uh okay, I got um Smartball now. I don't 
I don't actually know what kind of game this is. It might have to do with the power power glove. Or no no not the power glove, the um the uh super scope. It might be one of those kind of games. I don't know Super Mario All Stars. Uh this actually doesn't have a label. I'm not quite sure what it is. I or it might not even work. I'm not actually sure. I I think when I when I try to plug this in, it wouldn't even work. So maybe it's just a busted game or something. I don't know, but yeah, blank game, mystery game, or some shit. Or maybe this cartridge was just used to clean the system too. You know, kind of like that other thing for the NES I showed. But yeah. Now this game you can barely see it, but this is actually Shaq Fu. I guess uh, it's it's seen better days. The only thing you can see on it is Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, it's funny. I ate a Shaq. <laughs> I ate a Shaquille O'Neal pizza today, and I'm holding a Shaquille O'Neal game here. But yeah, Shaq Fu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Shaq Fu. Fuck me. Just can't believe he was in a game. You know, it took me years to realize he was even, you know, he was put in a movie, which I actually remember watching, I think, what movie was he in again? I think he was in at least two. One was Kazam, where he was like a fucking genie or some shit. No, I bet if I watched that film, it was it, it probably I probably would have said it was jack shit. But at the time, you know, when I when I was a kid, everything's better when you're a kid. So, you know, I had to rewatch that movie though just to laugh at it. All right, so we got a Tetris Attack, which is a good game. I actually got through this on um, uh, what was it, like the normal mode? Like I'm not even very good at these puzzle games, but I I did enjoy this. It's not a very long game though. At least, uh, it's not very long if you don't want it to be. So, Tetris Attack. It's a recommended. Recommended. Yeah, speaking of Act Razor, like I was mentioning earlier, we got Act Razor. Um, I don't have Act Razor 2 because it doesn't have any of the kind of civilization shit that this has in it. Um, which is kind of a shame, but at least with the remake, we kind of get more Act Razor. You see, I paid... I sort of paid a little up there, $20, but it, I fucking love this game, people. I love it. So, that's Act Razor. And there's my Super Mario Bros. Uh, or Super Mario The Thousand Year Door. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door theme plan. Okay, I do have Mortal Kombat 3 for the SNES. I thought I had this for the Super uh, for the for the Genesis instead, but yeah. Mortal Kombat 3, I, I don't even know I've, I've played it, but... You know, whatever. It's probably a decent game. Okay, that's my other uh, Jeopardy game here. Yeah, I got Jeopardy Deluxe Edition. It's ba It basically plays like the NES Jeopardy game. You know, just better graphics. Apparently this came out in 93. Yeah, 1993. So I guess they have stuff like the Berlin Wall on up there. You know, the... Or the, the Reagan presidency, you know? Whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um... Okay, we got the Ren and Stimpy show, Vidiots. I don't remember watching too much of Ren and Stimpy back in the day. But yeah, we got Vidiots here. Apparently, and a, a weird thing is there's actually another Ren and Stimpy game that came out on the same system that's actually kind of worth a lot. I don't really know why it is. Maybe it's an, maybe it's rare. Maybe it's like an unreleased game or something. But yeah, but here's Ren and Stimpy game. Uh, this game's pretty fucking cool. Um, I'm kind of glad I even have this. It, it's hard to have... Why well, does it say I have 10 viewers? Did someone raid me? Someone just raid me? I find that hard to believe I actually have 10 viewers right now, but okay. Um, yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. If you have a question for me, free, f feel free to ask. I'm just going to go over these Super Nintendo games in the meantime. Uh, but yeah, I have a Breath of Fire. It's... Actually, a pretty good game. Like, I need to get to Breath of Fire 2, and I think 3 they also have on the SNES, or that might be on the PlayStation 1. I, I don't remember. I know 4 is on the PlayStation 1 for sure. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing more Breath of Fire for sure, so count on that at some point. Yeah, I actually got this um, in town a little bit north of me, only about 15 minutes away. There's, like, this little old lady I met at a yard sale, like, I don't know, four years ago, and uh, she actually had a... Uh, she had, like, a grandson at her at her house, and actually did bought some of, like, his games, but, like, his, 
I, I guess like the grandson's father, or I guess what would have been the old lady's son. Uh, she had some old stuff from like back in the eighties and nineties, and uh, this was one of the one of the things that I grabbed. So that's pretty fun. Play a breath of fire. I do like it. The only problem I kind of have with it is in order to beat like the final boss, you basically have to do uh this certain side quest shit where you like learn to turn into uh different creatures. I'm not trying to spoil it or anything. But I feel like you shouldn't have to do that just to beat the game. But it seemed like it was practically required to beat the game to do that kind of side quest. Still, it's a fun game. I liked it. Alright, we got uh we got Mega Man X now. Um, ignore the labeling. I don't know why that labeling looks so shitty on there. But yeah, Mega Man X. I mean, sort sort of superfluous. I actually owned this before I actually owned the uh, SNES Mini. Which, that already has Mega Man X on it, so it's kind of like, maybe I should just get rid of this game, like, sell it or trade it. Like, I, I, I'm i just not a big Mega Man game fan, to be honest. Like, like they're good enough games, like, and I did enjoy X, it's just like, you know, <laughs> I don't know, there's just, there's just something about it. It's, it's like one of those series, like, where people, you know, the actual, like, hardcore fans of the Mega Man series, they just want more and more and more and more, and, and more and more and more. But, like, I'm one of those few that I think, like, dude, there's over 100 Mega Man games. Like, you don't think that's enough? Like, you don't think that's enough to satisfy your whole life? I don't know. It's just, you know, it is what it is, though. But it is a good game, this is. And probably at some point I'll check out, like, X2 and X3, and I don't even know if I'll go beyond that. Who knows, though? Who knows? But, yeah. Mega Man X. Uh, I'm not even sure what this game is. Like, half the label's ripped off. I like how it said make off right there. I'm probably sure I, uh, I'm pretty sure I said for free because I don't even know if the fucking thing works. But yeah, this is Winter Olympic Games. Maybe of a certain year. I don't know if they had multiple Winter Olympic Games or not. I, I do not know. Okay, on, on the right hand side it says, uh, the Winter Games in 1994. So, okay. I don't know what place that took in. Also, this song kicks ass. What is this from? Persona 3? I have not played Persona. Or I haven't played Persona 3. Wait, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, let me request another song. You guys want me to request a song on here? I can look it up. I'm going to put another Mario song, though. Uh, how about... How about how about the overworld for Mario Bros. 3? That sounds like a good one. You know the bum ba dum 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 bum But yeah. Next we're going for uh Super Caesar's Palace. I don't even remember how I got this game. Although the the thing is, like, when I go to Fort Wayne at Mega Replay, they have like copies and copies of this particular game right here. This and, um, Super C, uh, no, it's, uh, uh, I think it's called Caesar's Palace, but it's for, like, the PS1. I think they have tons of copies of that game, too. Or maybe it's called Caesar's Palace 2000. I don't quite remember what it's called, but they have a lot of Caesar's Palace's games. I don't know why. I, I guess there's just a overstock of them. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really played this, though. Uh, another Super... Super Mario All-Stars. I really should sell at least one of these. Like, I don't need all that shit. Alright, we're... Hey, we're at least over halfway through now, so I think we're gonna make the... Uh, 1 hour 30 time limit. Uh, we got Earthbound here. Um, it's incredibly expensive. It is legitimate. It's not in the best of shape, but... I mean, I could still sell this for, like... Easily two hundred dollars, I would think. But yeah, Earthbound. It's a it's a good game. Not not at all worth what a, what a some people pay it for now. I, I remember I paid eighty dollars for this. That would have been a fucking steal in today's you know market. But yeah, I paid eighty for that back in the day. Okay, we got a uh, Super Super Street Fighter Two Turbo. I don't remember if this is like the distinct version of the game with like all the characters and shit. Because they, they made they remade a lot of Street Fighter 2 um, games in this era, so. But yeah, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. 
I remember playing it. It's all right. I would say I probably like Mortal Kombat a little bit more than Street Fighter, but not by a whole lot. Jesus Christ, another fucking All-Stars. Yeah, another one of those. I think this one I got just a couple years ago. I got a Super R-Type by uh, I yeah, Iron Corp. Yeah, it's a, it's a shmup. I'm not too good at them, but I figured $10, you know, I could give it a shot, you know. We'll, we'll see what it's all about. I just hope it's not balls hard, though, like, you know, like steel balls hard difficult. I hope it's not that hard. But knowing Super Nintendo and knowing shmups, uh, it's it's I probably won't get a, you know get past the second level. Okay, I actually like this game. Uh, I remember actually getting this down the street from like my mom's house when I was a little younger. I got Yee's Three Wanders from Yee's. Uh, it actually plays a lot like Zelda Two, um, a lot like Zelda Two. Almost to the point where it's kind of a ripoff, but it is good. Apparently, it's made by Sammy. Is that what that says? That little thing that looks like an Adam, Sammy. What kind of name is that for a developer? But yeah, it's it's fun. I'm not even quite sure why I got this. I, I guess this is before I knew the fact that you actually needed the um. The uh, SNES uh, mouse, but I, I got a car copy of Mario Paint. It doesn't really matter though because, you know, I don't have the mouse pad. At least you know it's only a couple dollars. Maybe I'll get the mouse pad someday. I don't know, but yeah, that's Mario Paint there. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we got a uh, best of the best championship karate. I don't even think I've played this. I assume it's sort of like a kickboxing game, similar to Punch Out, I suppose. But yeah, there's that game. We're getting there, people. Only about eight more. Uh, okay, we got NBA Live '95. Who gives a fuck? It's a basketball game. I do not care. So yeah. Da 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 da. Oh, Funky would love the shit out of this game. NBA Jam. I forgot I even had that for the SNES. But yeah, apparently I do have NBA Jam, so cool. I played this on the Genesis about a year ago. It's not bad. It's just I don't really care for basketball. Okay. Uh. Huh. I, I wasn't aware this was a cartridge. Apparently there's Tetris and Dr. Mario here. I... I was not aware that they made a combo pack of these two games, but that's that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, Tetris and Dr. Mario, cool. Good to know if I if I'm too lazy to switch the cartridge out between the two, I'll just put you know that one in. Of course, how can you not have a uh, Super Mario World? Because I've got it. God damn it. Okay, yeah, this is Metal Combat. This needed the Super Scope in order to even work, pretty much. You see that? See that label right there? Super Scope. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's a good game with a Super Scope, but I don't have one, so I'll never find out. I remember this, this is one of the first games I got with my system when I bought it. Or my sister actually bought me the SNES back in the day, like when I was... How old was I? Like 15, 16? Um, I got, I got Zoop, which is like... Zoop, it's like, uh... I guess it's like Tetris, but a little different. I don't quite remember what it plays like. I didn't play it for very long. But yeah, Zoop. Okay, we got, uh... We also got Yoshi Safari here. Which I guess also required the, uh, Super Scope there, as you can see. Uh, I think this was a pretty late release into the Snooper, uh, into the SNES library as well. I might be thinking of, I might be thinking of another game, I don't know, but yeah. Yoshi Safari, ooh. 
And I'm pretty sure the last one, at least the one that I can find right now. Oh, well, uh, in my SNES, like, system, I do have Nobunaga's Ambition plugged in. So that's one game that's kind of missing from me showing it on screen here. But yeah, I also have Donkey Kong Country, which is kind of a, a nice one to end it off on. Yeah, this came with my Super Nintendo. In fact, I, I played this... I played the port of this on the Game Boy Color when I was a kid all the fucking time, and I loved it. Um, I've, I've still not actually beaten the game. Like, it's like it, it's fun, but it gets balls hard. Like, pretty much as soon as you get to, like, the fucking minecart levels, you know what I mean? Where, you, where you're in the, the caves and you have to ride these minecarts everywhere and shit. Like, I just... Like, that's the ultimate wall for me in this game. So I've, I've never been able to beat it. But, yeah. Hopefully someday. Um... So yeah, that's that's pretty much all my Super Super Nintendo stuff. Oh wait, there's one more, there's one more. I forgot about this one. Sort of a prized possession of sorts. Got my Final Fantasy VI boxed game. You see how that's uh, twenty dollars there? You might not be able to read that. Well, trust me, it says it says nineteen ninety nine. I'll just take it out of here real quick. I know this has the uh, manual. I think it even has like a little map or whatever. Yeah, the game's in here. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing six here at some point as well. Like I've never actually beaten it, but I've gotten damn close. But yeah, there it is, Final Fantasy VI in all its glory. The little uh holder for it. And I got this cute little poster, which uh, I would love to hang up, but I don't wanna I don't wanna ruin it. But I'll show you it real quick. Isn't that adorable? That is so fucking cool, dude. And in the back is a bunch of, like, square shit, you know? Like, talking about, like, hats and... Hats and soundtracks and shit. Yeah. And t-shirts, yeah. But I was like, that's so cool, I don't even want to hang that up. You know, just keep it... Just keep it in the box. And it has this cute little, uh... Instruction booklet here. I mean, it, it's seen some better days, but it's... You know, it's basically fully in color here. I mean, and it even has a like a mini walkthrough in the back here, doesn't it? Let me see. Talking about magic spells and shit. Talking about every character in the game. You know, talking about Shadow. It's talking about Setzer and shit. I know there's a. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, it actually has a little mini walkthrough here. Talking about the first... I don't know, the first, like, three, four hours of the game. It's kind of cool. It's definitely be nice at the time. I don't know if this actually had a strategy guy when it, when it first came out. It, it would have been hella useful, though. But yeah, a little, little mini walkthrough there for you. Start you out in the game. But yeah, that's that's basically it for my Super Nintendo games. And I feel like with that, I should probably end this stream now. I'm sure that was good enough for for me to test out my mic. Probably have to do some adjusting still, but you know how it is. It's a work in progress. I sure wish this box was in better shape, but you know what 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 can you expect? I mean look how how beat up this shit is, you know what I mean? But the fact they even have a box for a game as good as Final Fantasy VI, it's it's pretty much my prized possession, pretty much. But yeah, I, I, the funny thing is, like, I bought this for twenty dollars, but there's another copy of this game that just had the cartridge, like, without the box or instructions, for thirty dollars. And I'm like, what the fuck is that shit about? And he, and the 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 employee basically told me, like, when they bought it, um, they they gave more to the other guy that had the cartridge, you know, by itself. So, of course, they would have to charge more for it, but they I guess they got that boxed one for cheaper, so they could sell it for cheaper. So, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's good for tonight, honestly, guys. It's just, I just wanted to do this stream to um, test on my mic. And while uh, not a lot of people whereas giving me feedback i'm sure i'll i'm sure i'll he hear some feedback whenever i play a, a pc game at some point so which uh I'm trying to think when that would be 
Like, tomorrow I'm playing 8 on uh, that TV behind me. But... Uh, I don't know. Well, I, I guess the next time I could use this snowball is um, whenever I'm playing Code Vein with uh, with Dragon potentially next week. But we'll we'll see where that we'll see where that goes. Let me see. Can I uh, probably raid Funky here? I guess. I actually did raid him once already today, but fuck it. I'm gonna raid him twice because we don't give a fuck. Okay. Raid. Raid time! Yay! Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for lurking or watching or commenting or anything like that. Uh, more Final Fantasy 8 tomorrow. And yeah, have a nice night. Bye.